When people can no longer make fun of anything unless it's of a punching up variety, at least not without some really bad consequences, it pretty much leaves us in a creative bankruptcy. There really are people who try to claim that political correctness and trying to force everything to be of a punching up variety doesn't negatively affect the industry, doesn't have a negative effect on our creativity, and that we just need to be more creative. That no matter how limited of things we can make fun of or point out in an entertaining way, that creativity will always prevail. Well, that's a false belief. Creativity will not always prevail. We really can lock things down to essentially being a creative bankruptcy. That's what we're in now. And this isn't the same as when things are locked down in the opposite direction, like in the 1950s. Back then, when people would push against those standards by being as edgy as possible, they were seen as groundbreaking, except by the religious zealots, of course. When people push against these newer, punching-up standards, they're viewed as assholes, bigots. They're viewed as terrible, terrible people. There's little reason for anyone in the industry to want to push against these standards, unless they're ready for some very, very negative consequences. Corporate culture just won't allow for it. They'd never approve a project that they know go against those standards. So, as a result, we can no longer, seemingly we can no longer make movies or just any sort of entertainment that has realistic interactions, unless we're talking about, you know, police shows, uh, uh, firefighter shows, uh, CSI type of shows, um, uh, hospital shows. I mean, since we're not allowed to really push stereotypes of any kind, we can't use common symbology anymore. And most certainly nothing can promote patriarchal norms. Everything must push for equity in some way. I mean, at least in contrast to the way society actually works. And with the exception of police, firefighter, CSI, and hospital shows. Or movies. Our entertainment really isn't very entertaining anymore. The essence of what makes things entertaining has pretty much been stripped from the whole industry. And sure, there are some gems out there in this time that our creativity is being cramped down more and more. Sure, there are gems out there. But that doesn't change the overarching problem. As long as everything is locked down like it is, there will never be another Pulp Fiction, Falling Down, or Blazing Saddles. There will never be a script where uh, people of, of differing uh, backgrounds will relate to people in stereotypical fashions. Unless, of course, it's of the punching up variety, you know, where it can criticize powerful groups without any issues. If a major studio actually put out a movie that was purposefully something that ends in istrophobic, even if it was a crap movie, it would be blasted by a whole bunch of people as being the worst thing ever. There would probably be protesters at theaters, people trying to get others not to spend money on the movie. You know, maybe even a few scuffles and fights and people getting hurt. But it would also make a killing at the box office. The free advertising from the outrage would ensure this. And again, it wouldn't even have to be a good movie. It would just have to go against the notion of punching up. I mean, this is what makes Quentin Tarantino's movies so good. He seems to be the only exception in the industry. Although, I still don't think he would be able to make another Pulp Fiction today. I just, there, no, he, I don't, just don't think he could do it. You know, not without major blowback. But who knows, maybe, maybe he's the, the one that could be left to, to really, you know, push some boundaries in those areas. Who knows? I just think we're going to have to see our current entertainment industry fail in a spectacular fashion in order for there to be any sort of change. Because I doubt there's going to be any studio that's going to take the chances on, on making a movie or a TV show that, that goes against these standards in, in a blatant way. I mean, Family Guy still tries, and they, they still succeed sometimes, so does South Park. You know, they succeed in, in areas that others can't. But those are about the only shows I could think of. Now, I'm not going to claim that movies or shows that are sexist, racist, homophobic, or just something else that ends in istrophobic are good for society. At the same time, the industry is not supposed to be a giant indoctrination center. You're not supposed to get your morals from adult movies and entertainment. 
I mean, otherwise, how would we judge violent video games? But maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you think the industry has a duty to push morals onto the public. I don't, because I can see the results of this type of thinking uh, right now. And it's only downhill from here, if we keep it up. Why would someone want to sit through a couple hours of virtue signaling, people interacting in safe ways except towards enemies, and moral grandstanding? Yeah, there's a story in there, sure, and I'm sure it's a really good story. But the fact that it checks all these boxes isn't what makes it worth watching. I think a lot of our profitable industries are going to be struggling over the next couple years. I, th I think we're in, in for some hard times. Hopefully enough of our industries will survive to carry on the next generation. But we'll see. What do you feel about this?